This is my holiday inspired makeup with a classic red lips. I would say let's start with the base and for that I'm going to use the Urban Decay Declutter Complexion Primer. I noticed that if I apply too much of this primer it's going to kind of like uh, peel off a tiny little bit goes a long way just to cover up the big pores that I have. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of this primer because it's a risk every time. Like if I apply my foundation too fast, it's going to kind of like peel off. So I always check if it's completely dry and absorbed into my skin before applying foundation. The foundation that I'm going to use today is from Maybelline. It's the Fit Me Matte and Poreless in shade number 120. I'm going to blend it out with a Kabuki brush, which is from Sedona Lace. It's the 480 blends in with my skin perfectly and it really does a great job in covering. If I want, I could reapply a second layer for an even better coverage, but I'm fine with it how it is right now. I'm just going to cover up the rest with concealer. Today's concealer is from Urban Decay. It's the All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. Just going to blend it out with a concealer buffer from Zoeva. So I don't know what I'm going to do with my eyes today. So I'm first going to apply my red lipstick and I kind of am uh, putting on eyeshadows uh, according to my lipstick. I want to keep my eyes very simple or at least a little bit of shimmer and yeah, light. I'm going to keep it light, but I'm not sure how light. I'm going to outline my lips using the Pupa True Lips um, lip liner in shade 29, which is a beautiful red shade. The lipstick is going to be from Maybelline. It's the Superstay Matte Ink shade 117 Groundbreaker. A beautiful red shade. This is a new one. I haven't applied it not once. And yeah, we're going to see how this looks on my lips. I really don't like the scent of these lipsticks. It looks so strong. All right, lips applied. I'm going to apply a little bit of blusher because it's a cream-based blusher. It's from Can Make. It's the Cream Cheek CL07. It's like a beautiful red blusher. And I'm just going to apply a little bit on the cheeks. Let's see what we're going to create with the eyes. Going to apply the pearly eye base. Draw the perfect base to work with. I'm actually going to use the shade and light eye contour palette from Cap Von D, which is this beautiful palette with a lot of matte shades. And I'm just going to take the first one, which is La Latinus. I'm going to apply this on the crease area. This is going to be my base eyeshadow. I like to add always a base eyeshadow before um, doing anything else. I'm taking a putted eye blender and I'm going to use see through this one and add it right in the crease to kind of define the crease area. The finishing touch is actually going to be this Pupa Vamp Sparkling Eyeshadow in shade number 001. Beautiful. Look at that. It's so beautiful. In the inner and center of the outlet. So let's see how that works. Ooh, this is beautiful. I like this. This was from last year's Christmas collection. I haven't bought makeup since um, this summer, so I don't have anything new for winter. But oh my god, this is beautiful. I like how this came out. Oh, all right, I like this. Mm. I leave it like that. And I'm actually going to also apply a little bit on the lower lash. I'm going to add the lightest shade on the lower lash line. 
glamour, glitter, glitter. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with this eyeshadow right now. I'm like, ooh, full on glitter. So we're not finished. I'm going to add powder, which is from Cap Von D. It's the Locket powder. Maybe I need to add a little bit more of the blusher. Just because with powder, it's going to kind of like fade a bit. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the blusher. Now I'm going to add the powder to fix my makeup. I've said this before, but the reason why I like to apply the powder in the end is because if I do any mistakes or kind of there is uh, some eyeshadow fallout, then I, I can correct it. While if I have already applied the powder, it's going to be a little bit hard, difficult to kind of correct uh, cream products because with powder applied, you should not apply any cream powders anymore. With the powder brush, I'm going to remove the leftover. I'm going to add on the lower lash line a little bit of mascara because on the upper side I have uh, lash extensions on so I don't need mascara. For that, I'm going to use the little sample packaging from Lancome. It's the Hypnose Drama Ecstasy Black Mascara. And I'm going to use Catrice Cosmetics Sun Glow Matte Bronzing Powder in da for darker skin which basically I don't have really darker skin, but as you can see, I hit pan because I really like it. I think I took too much. I decided to take my Fenty Beauty highlight, which is the Kilowatt Lighting Dust and Fire Crystal. I'm going to put this one. Yeah, I'm going for the fire crystal one. <laughs> oh my goodness, also a little bit on the lower part of the bra. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this highlight is crazy. Crazy, crazy. I love this. I love this. This is so beautiful. Yes. This is the completed look. <laughs> all right, so this is my holiday inspired makeup look. I wish you all Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in case I'm not going to upload anything. I'm wishing you all happy holidays. Hope you like this video. And don't forget to put on that red lipstick and see you all next time. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.